Postman is a 20-point machine on Hack the Box that involves using Redis to write an SSH key to disk, cracking the password of a private key and exploiting a Webman vulnerability with Metasploit. After scanning the box, we can see Apache, Redis and Webman running. The website on port 80 seems to have nothing of interest on it, so we continue by looking at the Webman page on port 10,000. Since we don't have any credentials, we can't do much here. We continue by looking for Webman exploits with Searchsploit and find a few that would match the version on the box, which we saw on Nmap. The first exploit looks promising, but requires authorization, as we can see in the Metasploit module's description. The second one seems to be for a newer version, but is unauthenticated, so it's worth trying. We copy the exploit to our local directory and try to run it. For some reason the file has Windows line endings, so we use DOS to Unix to convert it. Unfortunately, the target is not vulnerable. We now have a look at Redis using the Redis CLI tool to interact with the service. By issuing the info command, we can see a lot of information about the running Redis server, but nothing is particularly interesting. There's a blog post on GitHub describing how to interact with Redis and how it can be used to write an authorized keys file to a user's home directory. We will follow these steps to achieve the same. First, we generate a fresh key pair and create a blob.txt file that surrounds our public key with a couple of line breaks. We then use config set to change the config directory so it points to the SSH folder of the Redis user. This part is a bit strange since it would not make too much sense for the Redis user to have a login shell. The path itself is the default path for Redis on Ubuntu and Debian. We then set the database file name to authorized keys. When we now write to the config, the file will be created in the Redis user's SSH directory with the file name authorized keys. Finally, we use Redis CLI to write the contents of blob.txt we created earlier as a configuration item into the database. Note that the authorized keys file will not be clean um, as it will contain more data than just our key, but it is still usable by SSH. We can now connect to the box with SSH as Redis. Under opt, we can find a backup of a private key and copy it to our machine. Using SSH to John, we create a crackable hash from the password protected private key and crack it using the rockyou.txt word list. After a moment, we get the password. Since we can see the user met in the home directory, we try to use the password we just found to change users and succeed. This allows us to read the user flag. It turns out that these same credentials also work on Webmin. This enables us to use the Metasploit module we saw earlier. After setting the correct module options, we launch the exploit and obtain a root shell. Thanks to the CyberGeek for creating this box and congrats to some pretty and animus for getting user and root blood.